Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for May 6th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Hey Teacher by Bill Murphy. Um, I assume the reference here is to the Pink Floyd song, uh, and these are the bricks in the wall. Uh, but we have a diagonal killer Sudoku today, one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have these blue lines in the grid. We must also have the digits one to nine on each of the diagonals. Um, so no repeated digits. And then we have some cages in the grid. All of the cages in this puzzle are two cells. And they give the total in the top left corner um, the sum of those two digits. Those are the rules. And we'll start with the cages that are the most restricted. We have a couple of threes. The only way to do that is one, two. A couple of fours here. One, three. Then a 15, which must be seven, nine. And I'm going to start here. Um, there are other places we could start, but this is kind of a classic pattern in filler. Um, I know we've used this before at some point, uh, but if you have three, which must be one, two, you can't use one or two in the seven. So the lowest this cage could contain is three, four, which is seven. So it must be three, four. It's the only way to do it. The lowest we can have now in this cage is 5, 6, and that's 11, which is the total for that cage. And then the 15 must be 7, 8, and we're left with a 9. Um, and I wanted to note, we could add up all the cage totals and subtract that from 45. In this case, we would get 36 here. 45 minus 36 is 9. Um, that is a useful tool for killer as well. We didn't have to do that here because we could just fill in the pairs and pages, but um, that is an option. Uh, let's look up here. The 14 can't be 5, 9, so it must be 6, 8. And I can't type the right digits as usual. Uh, the 8 can't contain 1 or 2. It's similar to the 7 here. The minimum is 3, 4. To get 8, we need 3, 5, and then 4 is left with here. Um, in this row, well, in this box, we have a 1 already, so this must be 2, 4 to some 6. If we already have 1, 3, the 7 can't be 1, 6, or 3, 4, so it must be 2, 5, and we know the order there. Um, I see there's a diagonal there. I'm going to come back to it. Uh, the 12 can't be 3, 9, can't be 5, 7. The only thing left is 4, 8. And now the 15 must be 6, 9, with a 7 left over. The last digit in this box is a 6. So that gives us a 7 for 13. 11 can't be 2, 9, 5, 6, or 4, 7, so it must be 3, 8. And that means this must be a 4, because we already have a 3 here. The 10 must be 1, 9, and this is 5. Checking for any other just Sudoku eliminations. I don't think we have any other ones yet. All right, this one is a little rest less restricted. Um, we could use the sum trick here. 34, 35, 4 is 39, so we need a 6. Um, and that means the 15 must be 7, 8. The 9 now can't be 1, 8, 2, 7, or 3, 6, so it's 4, 5. And then 2, 9 is left over. And that works out for that. The 4 looks down for 5 and 4. The 7 resolves 8, 7. The 4 resolves 8, 4. Anything else before we move to the diagonals? I'm probably missing something. Anyway, we saw this 2. It is on the diagonal with this cell, so this can't be a 2. And now the 1 is on the diagonal with this, so this must be 9, 1 in that order. The 5 here makes this 6, 5 in that order. The 7 gives us 9 and 7. The 5 now looks here. Um, 7, yeah, 8, 7. I think these are still unresolved. Uh, the one here gives us 3, 1, 2, 1. But yeah, I think this side is still unresolved unless I'm just completely blind. So let's look now. Um, 
If we look at the diagonals or the columns, we've got a lot of columns over half them. Um, but let's look at this diagonal. We have all the high digits here. So these are from 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 4 in the column and 4 in the box. So these aren't 3. They are also aren't 2. So the 2 must go here. And we're left with a 1, 4 pair. Along this diagonal, we need 4, 5, 7, and 8. Um, I, without pencil marking, I can see this can't be an 8, a 5, or a 7. So this must be our 4. And it's going to resolve 1, 4 here, 1, 2 here, 9. Um, so we still need 5, 7, and 8. The 5 must go here because we have 7 and 8. And then the 7 must go here because we have an 8 in the box. So that's the diagonals done. All right, let's look at this column. We need a 3, 6, 8. 6, 8 in the box means this is the 3. In this column, we still need 5 and 7. Those are resolved. In this column, we need 6 and 9. Those are also resolved. These are 2 and 4. And these are a 1, 8 pair. In this box, we still need 3, 6, 7, 8. 7 can't go in either of these from the 7s we place. So this must be the 7. Uh, this can't be 8. And there's probably something more direct we could be doing, but there's a 368 triple here, so I'm going to use that. This is 6 now. Uh, this must be 5. And then we're going to be left with 2 and 9 here. I think we're going to have to go to these columns now. So let's do that. These are 1, 4, 6, and 9. The 4 can only go there. Uh, 1 and 9 in the row gives us the 6. But 1, 9 is actually not resolved yet. But the 6 gives us 3, 8, 6, 8, 6, 8, and 3. This column needs 1, 5, 6, 7. So this is 5, this is 1, this is 6, 7. And then this column, oh, the 1 resolves 9, 1, and the 1, 8 pair. And now we're just left with 9, 8, 3, and 2. And that's the solution. So, hope you enjoyed that. Really nice, elegant puzzle with the killer cages and then the diagonals to resolve everything at the end. Um, this is following a theme from Clover. Clover posted a special um, solve a couple days ago. Um, if you haven't had a chance to check that out. But that was also a diagonal, just diagonal on its own. Um, I should probably be doing a diagonal puzzle today, and actually I've made several, but they haven't been tested yet, so I'm doing something else. But anyway, more diagonal in the future. Let us know how you did in the comments, and I will see you next time.